When you're coming from a, a, a mindset of scarcity, you are competing constantly. I don't like you because you're a woman. When women start things, they, they blow. We way. women, that's why we need our community. It's about building ourselves individually, then collectively. You can't grow without community, to be honest. You have money. Oh, you're a market woman. Please stop pulling my pants in public. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everyone to a brand new edition of Ink Blood Meat and Greet. Yes! yes I'm trying greet, something greet, new, greet, right? Greet, so, greet, you know, greet, in greet. case this whole thing doesn't pan out, my beautiful voice can oh. carry me into the new millennium, you know. So I feel like, like in, in the roaring 20s, post-COVID, there's significant opportunity for people with dulcet tones. Off his mic, please. I mean, <laughs> so we are here to introduce you to the one, the only, Ufoma McDermott. So yes, you have to, you have to, you have to, because these people they don't they don't know how to follow like in the, I mean no they haven't taken the voice training that is required oh, to do this. Oh, I'll stop talking because my voice is paining me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Ink Blood Meet and Greet with your host, well your anchor Naz and your host, uh, your flag girl, yeah. Lulu. <laughs> And AK, Damola, <laughs> AKA Guns, yes. is back in the show. <laughs> yes, so. You really love that dark yeah, nickname. Yeah, no, yeah, Guns. So like, <laughs> like, on an Instagram post, Ishema gave him the nickname Guns, and we cannot rest. Ah, please. Guns, <laughs> please. Is, Guns, Dad. Please. Guns is in the house. Guns it is. Yes, yes. so. Guns. Yes. Guns well, I think our guns are better than yours. Oh, shee. <laughs> my, my, you know, my there's big the, this guns is the, his version, that's the hard version. Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't understand. I mean, people. Even is hiding her own guns. No, I have no guns, guys. <laughs> There's no guns for no the guns, year 2021. Not, not pistol, sir. Pistol? Banga. <laughs> Knockouts. Yeah. Ufama and us almost worked together on the department. I don't know if you remember. Oh, yes! Yes. Oh, yes. yes. You remember? Right yes. So, basically, um, she, she shunned us. She, she, we, mm. she wasn't available. She shunned us. Mm. Where, who are these niggas? I mean, mm. And then she even came for the audition, <laughs> but I think you had just had your kid. Well, yes, and so you were like, yeah, I came, Sha, because Uduak said it, <laughs> but I don't really want to be <laughs> here. Why were I mean, these people watching it? It was a good decision, by the way. <laughs> no, <laughs> now, that was a star making turn for Osas and Osi. Yes, Osas and Osi. Yes, yes. Osas and Osi. Yes. yes. Yeah. And I will have you know, the movie, and start making tone. She was the star. movie. The movie was actually the movie is still one of the most viewed content on our YouTube page. Yeah, YouTube. but it's not even a hundred thousand views. So let's not. No, do no, it. no, no. no. I, by 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 the time this video comes out, it'll be at a hundred thousand. Are, are you watching jokes, thirteen thousand? Jokes, jokes apart, though, I really, really thought when I read the script for the mm -hmm. department, I really, really thought it was different. I thought it was kiss of death. Ah, <laughs> I, I, ah. I really, your movie is so different. I, no, I honestly, I honestly thought it was. I honestly thought it was. She thought it um, in a good way. There's uh, no such thing. It's, no, please. It, no, no, I'll I'll take, no, there's I really something did. that in really Nigerian did. cinema. Don't forget that at the time. Yeah, well, at the time. Let me not talk. Let talk, please, talk. please. It's me from Chris. They're going to shoot me. No, it's a lot. It's a lot. We have guns on set. We have guns. We have guns. Not it. No, but please, tell us, please. Tell us, please. No, but at, at the time, I don't think we had a lot of <clears> different <throat> stuff. Mm -hmm. know, I don't think we had a lot of stuff like we have today, mm -hmm. you know, within the industry. So reading that script was very different for me. But um, I think there were, you know, so, so many other issues, you know, that we needed to sort out and we couldn't um, come to. And that was why I wasn't on the project. But I remember, I remember myself and Coco talking about mm -hmm. that project and we just thought it was different. Mm -hmm. that, we really, really thought it was. We used to be scared when people would come and watch our movies and tell you, no, your movie is so, you know, your movie is no different. And then we always like, so many hey. Yeah. But she's saying it's a positive No, no, I didn't say positive way. But mm. even, it's, it's, what's that Hollywood director that did um, Life Aquatic with, uh, that had Bill Murray? With Steven Zuzu. Um, what's his name? No, the lady, yeah. the lady that greenlit the producer in Hollywood. And she was like, after they like screened the movie, she knew there was a problem. When everybody came up to her and was like, yeah, I saw what you did there. You know, the movie is different. I was like, we have spent almost a million dollars, almost a hundred million dollars, and this movie is going to fail. Oh, ah, so it, even if it, it, it was Wes Anderson, now you have to be Wes Yeah, it was Wes Anderson. Yeah. But even for us, in Nigerian cinema, when people start saying, "Ah, my movie is different," the mo your movie is different. This is that we're like, ah, yeah. box office of thirty million naira and below. 
you know? because what we learned over time was how to meld the all those funky themes with more relatable stories. Yes, <laughs> because you, had you don't get more different than the setup in quotes, <clears throat> but it was designed yeah. to feel accessible, mm. even though. So people are like, yeah, Naz, it's only in your mind that that movie is accessible. But well, it's accessible, I think. I, I think. I don't think so. You don't? No. don't so, see, Zulu has come around no. to it because for a year after <laughs> the movie, <laughs> we'll be talking about the setup, and Zulu will be like, wait, eh, hey, so that was what that part <laughs> is. But hold on. And she read the script five times, though. No, oh, but Lord. hold on. <laughs> that, that's one narrative. <laughs> the other narrative is that we made sure that we spelt it out, right? Mm. And that's where I think we made it accessible. Yes. So please stop pulling my pants in public. <laughs> <laughs> so why did you say it wasn't as accessible? I, 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 I feel like we did a good... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like um, for a lot of stories that we try to tell today, we're clouded with what we think it should be, as against just telling the story. Mm -hmm. um, a boy went to the market, he stole pineapple, and then he got lynched. That's the story. Mm -hmm. Every other thing is in between it, right? But sometimes we get carried away with the in-between that we forget to just <clears throat> tell, Progress. That, tell that, that story. That boy went to market he now. went to market thief and the killer, you know? Um, and I think that was what happened with the setup for me. I, mm -hmm. kept, I, kept, I kept trying to wonder, okay, it had to be here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm so sorry. No, why are you apologizing? No, no, it's fine. I mean, Tim is three years old. <laughs> I mean, or two years old. I don't have any. So that's the thing about 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 stuff like this, and, it, and it's good feedback in the sense that like the setup mm -hmm. was dense. I mean, anybody who says it's not dense mm -hmm. is lying. Like there's oh. narrative stacks on itself, yes. right? And so stacks that, on stacks. That by definition, some people like the twist. Some people are like, bros, there are too many it's twists. Too much. So, I just, I just I'm on like, the team that love the twists. Oh, really? Like, I and, love and, and, and things that I don't see coming. I feel, yes, but there are ways that you can tell about things not coming. For example, this boy goes to the market, steals a pineapple, he comes and he's lynched, and then you realize that he really didn't steal that pineapple. Mm -hmm. It was his mom's store. You know, someone mm -hmm. just saw him take it mm -hmm. and run mm -hmm. and thought it was stolen, right? Mm -hmm. There are twists that you can put that can be as simple as the story. Mm -hmm. But, That's you know, the basic thing so is So you believe in, simple, in, the, in the simplest, the simplicity of stories. That's the... So... Uh, and you don't maybe, think that there's any room for complex stories? See, the complexities mm -hmm. of stories can be told Simple. When you understand the simplicity of the story, I don't know if I've confused you. Um, no, 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 that story that all of us wanted to collect change for? In in Inception. Inception. My sister, what? I'm with you there. I like it. You. you see, I'm. <laughs> no, but I'm with you on this one. Jesus, I, like I wanted it. my money back. What, what? I what totally was that? Liked it. Somebody dreamed inside the dream, then another dream. Another dream, they have, yes, now. It was Nigeria that told you they would have shot us in the head. No, but you have it all the time now. Don't you have Somebody that dream dreamed where the dream, you're having a dream, then you wake up in the dream, then realize you're still in the dream. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. That's usually the dream that when you wake up, you now. In real life, it has never been that deep. So, you're not the sign of the cross when you wake up on the dream. No, that one they were chasing you. That one they were chasing you. You understand it? Were they not chasing them in Inception? I don't understand. So this is, and, and that's and that's the thing about storytelling, right? Mm. In a nutshell, like so, like it's what they are setting, like as you said, like it's a perfect example. Chris Nolan mm -hmm. believes in telling dense stories on purpose yes. because mm -hmm. he believes that density is the way those layers is how you derive meaning. So that is his general thesis. Now people argue to death over whether it's true, whether it's not true. Like I remember the one Dunkirk that okay. I found amusing because. You have to watch that movie to realize that it's three different timelines yes, happening at the same, same time, time. Yes. at yes. different times. times yeah. And it's like, oh, yes, and that's why I did a ticking clock. So you know that time is there. And I was like, right. So one of them is one day, one of them is one hour, one yeah. of them is. There's, anyway, Shad, there's a three. But, but I think. And so all that layered complexity in and of itself can be a tool, but with every tool, you have to use it well. Thank and you. also, yes. I think it's it's definitely just something. It's yeah. the audience that you're that you're showing it that's to. Really, thing. really, that's what it is. That's another thing. Yeah. So does I, the audience want it? Absolutely. Yes, fantastic. But the, does the audience know what they want until you give it to them? See. Well, that's mm, everything. See, is, if you are doing all of these complex stories, if you are giving all, doing mm. all of these complex stories, 
just make sure that there are like big spectacles, exp explosions, a few naked people, a few things <laughs> like that. And people are just like, oh, yes! Okay, I don't so understand it, but I like it. The, exactly. <laughs> Demla, you missed one very important thing in, in this culture, in, with this audience. We can't have I, naked people. I, uh? We can't have naked people. No, you can't have, please. You know, there are different ways to do naked people without them being naked. Mm. So you do the big blow-ups, you do mm. the naked people, and then there's always a mix of... You know, there's a mix of God somewhere. Eh. Mm. Yeah, you, either, you either see the hand of God directly come from heaven, <laughs> come of thunder. And you see the right to with glory me? to God. That's it. You can <laughs> see the thunder in like Z T T T <laughs> coming down to help the boost. <laughs> the boost. That's why my cousin always put at the end, but but, but pencils, pencils in the hand oh of the Lord just you know, to help you, you at know, the end. But, but one of the things I I kind of kind mm. of agree with what Nas just said about you know does the, does the, the audience do they really really know what it is that they want mm -hmm. whether we like it or not we're products of our experiences and our knowledge yep. so what you know is you know what you have been knowing they come they come they come then you have reached and then you see something different and then you know it shocks you so much you're like ah that was not good really wasn't it you're just mm -hmm. not used to it right so the truth is this if you have complex stories and you're consistent with complex stories it becomes a norm Mm -hmm. Whoever is going to see, and you, you know, your, your kind of story, mm -hmm. everybody knows. Oh, with this, you know, storyteller, yes, mm -hmm. this is what you get. What's this man that is always telling Shyamalan? What's his name? M Night. Oh hey my God, goodness, he's back in game with wow. Like, <laughs> cold, cold. But guess what? I know they tired. Go and go and say, oh, okay, what did you do again this time? I know the Jordan vexing. Peele is doing the same thing. I am not vexing now. again, see, yeah. mm -hmm. right? So Jordan but, Peele is a much better version of M Night Shyamalan. Uh, well, is it much blacker? You, in your opinion. In my, in my, <laughs> yes, wait, less, wait, less. In I my think he's honest and personal relatable. opinion. <laughs> yeah. I think he's, he just does more I, relatable. Mm -hmm. Okay. You Maybe, know. I, 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 I honestly I'll give just you that. think he's just more relatable. But the truth is, if you're consistent enough, everybody yeah. just tires. Okay, so my question to you actually is, what's the first script you said yes to? And why? Was it a script decision or was it? No, a... but wait now. Wait, no, no. The right. first so where you have, is it where she you started or where you have made it? What you exactly? <laughs> because what you should be asking Zulu is what's the first script you said no to? Now what for you? Okay, what? I want the first script. <laughs> because no, the first one were economic the decision. Are you said with no me? Mm. Okay, you so what's the first one you said no to? Who cares about it? Besides the department. Oh my god. Yes. Because you, you know that that was different. Please, I hope the department wasn't the first no. I'm not <laughs> so yeah, you cannot yeah. answer this question. No, do you see no, now? Do you now see why I asked you what the first one you said yes to? Okay, is. let me go back to yes, the one I said yes. no. No, we want to hear the one that you said no to, please. In fact, the yes one, we don't care. This is not the, that first one, we know that you were trying to get she into the industry. She set herself up. So oh. now yeah, you yeah. answer the I question. Want the hot seat. Mm, the one that you said no to. Please give us the script, the director, the production company. <laughs> Who was your castmates? <laughs> Don't worry, just, just give us the script. We'll find it out and we'll okay, call you so, out. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to give the details, oh. but um I learned I think it was on it was after I said that no that I learned the right way to say no. But I didn't know at the time that there was a wrong way to say no. <laughs> so how did Valid. you say no? Valid. I, said, Valid. I said, I don't like this story. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I'm okay. very wow. Well, number Have one. you got to work with that for this idea? Ah, no, 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 well, no, no. Number no, one, no. do not say, I do not like this don't story. Don't try it. Do Four not say, you know, I don't want don't to work with this Don't try it. So don't how? So it. that's the that's the wrong way to say no. That's so what was the way. right way to say no? She had she already said it no. no. Which one? No, as if she said you know the wrong way. So there was no chance to. No, I'm not saying that. So I'm not asking that. So now that the right way. So now help there, people. There are many, you know, there are many other things you can say if if you do have that kind of relationship with the producer where you can. Because I know there was a story we we're supposed to do last year, just after the lockdown. Mm. You know, the script was sent to me, and because I had a relationship mm. with the producer, I could go ahead to say. No, I think we can correct this. This mm -hmm. is, you know, mm -hmm. this doesn't, da, da, da. and we actually did yeah. that. But you're not always in that position to, yeah. you know, I your can, opinion. Yeah. You can put it in your pocket most times. So if you're if you're not in that, um, you don't have that relationship, and you know that you cannot um, talk the script out mm. to get what it is that you want, then you have to look for ways to excuse yourself from the project without making those people who believe in it feel yeah. less. Mm -hmm. In it than they already. So is that the one that you don't say that uh, you know have a burial to to do in the east? And those kind of things. I have to travel. You just you first of all ask for the dates. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, oh, you don't say that you have to travel first. You have no, that, 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 no, that, first that. of all, uh, uh, see, oh, fantastic, nice. When you want to film first of January? Oh, oh sugar. You know, if it were maybe December twenty fifth, I would be available. <laughs> Don't say that or they can move you. <laughs> don't do that to you. Don't know people that want you. They'll wait for you. <laughs> does, it's, does it's not for me work? 
Ah, no. Ah, okay. I don't I don't think it, uh, honestly as a producer I know that I wouldn't want to hear that so I don't mm. think that I don't think you should say that to a producer. Yeah. I mean, we've gotten me. a couple of those. Yeah. And why am I talking like this? See, you get to a certain point. You get to the age of don't be silly. Mm. Madna Kali don't be silly. Yani bo girl. We have the You coach. get to the age of don't be silly. <laughs> Do you understand? Mm. And then at that point you can just say I don't know that I want to do this project right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And the producer will say, okay, ma. <laughs> the producer, producer will say, okay, ma. Do, okay, ma, do you think, do you want to play the other character? Mm -hmm. Please. No, but that's the one I don't think producer should do. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Change. I don't think she, no. What? Why, why not? Why not? I think it's, um, it, it waters down your mm. vision. I don't know how to put it. Like, you're trying to sell something to somebody, right? I don't think you should say, oh, if you don't, if you can't play this one, I have play this one. It's like, it's like you you're interchangeable. Know, yeah. I'll tell you what. You yeah, should know you somebody. You should want a, 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 an actor for a particular role for a particular reason. Yes, right. but don't forget that actors also know what it is that they want. Let the actor tell so. me, I'd rather not do this. I'd rather do this. Yes, but that's... As opposed I mean, to the producer saying, if, oh, okay, if you cannot do this, can you do this? Just yes, so if the person already <clears> gives you the reason why they can't do that, I'll give you an example. I was on, mm -hmm. a, on set one time with uh, Mike Israel, and I had been told... You know that he was playing. I was playing the female lead. He was playing the male lead. And we got on set, and he was doing the supporting role. Mm -hmm. So I thought there was a problem mm -hmm. somewhere. You know, I got into him like, guy, what's up, man? He said, come on, leave this thing. I lead the job pack, sing, sing, sing. No, <laughs> the character no heavier. I'm like, why? And then you know when we went, we talked about the the story. Mm -hmm. I actually understood where he was coming mm -hmm. from. Mm -hmm. The lead character was just some fine boy that was just there. <laughs> Basically not reacting thing. to all that was yeah, happening around. Just being a fine boy. Just, yeah. they, just they find a goal. They just yeah, they date all the girls for so that's campus. It. But let me ask you that question. So like that character, right? So I write a number of characters like that mm -hmm. who are the base mm -hmm. on which you build other, you build other, other eggs. Yes. Yes. So why do actors hate playing that role? So here's the thing. If if Mike Israel was not Mike Israel at the time, I don't know that he would have had a choice. Okay. Because Thank all he would have wanted at the time was visibility. Yes. Like, Thank ah, you. This character, how many are ah, ah, 200 scenes? Let's go there. <laughs> <laughs> but right now he wasn't even looking at that. He, I mean, he was already an established. Fans. Yes, he was already an established mm -hmm. actor. Mm -hmm. This character wasn't going to do anything for him. If I wanted a challenge, then you know I had to go for the supporting character. Mm -hmm. So he discussed that with the director, and the director was. Yes, but you see that. So yeah, so that character that is not a challenge, but is also. Imp so it's like that whole. It's like the Orlando Bloom thing in Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Mm -hmm. Where, <laughs> so, where. But, if Why that no, but if me? he was not no no, if he was not no, I love that character because if that character was not there, nobody else works. You cannot have everybody because Being so, so there's a lot of that character is a lot of hard work. Absolutely. So I guess the director and the producer and the writer see that character as hard work, but I guess from an actor perspective, it may not be. So is that so, what that so is? So it depends on where you are in your career and what it is that you want. I guess. If you have played Holy Mother Mary for so long that you know off the top of anybody's head. They want to play, say, ah, it's Ufoma now. And you're like, hang on, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. You know, and then they bring another script. And then you see this character that has only five appearances, but she is the bad, like the whole story hinges on, you know, this thing mm -hmm. she does. And you say, okay, leave this one. I'll take even half my fee, but this is what I want to play. Because at that point in your career, you're looking to make a different mm -hmm. statement than what people know about mm -hmm. your abilities, mm -hmm. right? And you just want to show that dexterity. I can do this as mm -hmm. well as I can do that. But wait, so. where's the actors want to show, sorry, <laughs> where's the actors want to show dexterity range when they can just be like Tom Cruise and do the same thing 200 times? So, so it depends. I remember when I went for the Golden Nymph Award, it was, it was in 2010, I met John McCook. He plays uh, Mr. Forrester on Bold and Beautiful. I grew up on Bold and Beautiful. Like, Jesus I'm sure you know, the whole world. I haven't I heard that TV show. <laughs> like, my voice, I was like, hey, God. What? Where did you because the song played in my head just now, like, ah. Right, so I, I don't know what you guys are talking about. 30 minus. <laughs> <laughs> TV show software. What? Trust like, me, 30 minus. Pretty, pretty, well, so. If you sing the theme song now, she'll start singing. I'm telling you, trust me, even on the show, all of them bump again, they're true, they're being for the show. So don't worry, even the 20s, they're watching it. But you know, he said something because I think they won that evening. They won the award for the best ensemble cast, and he said, "If someone pays you to be one person for the rest of your life, and it doesn't affect who you are, go ahead and do it." You know, a lot of people are excited about that, but it got me thinking: Do I want to be one person for the rest of my life without being Ufoma? And it's a no. 
So it depends on what you want for yourself. It depends on what you want for your career. See, the truth is this. It's very easy to do the Tom Cruise and just take the one character, be that one character forever. You don't, nothing is going to challenge you. Nothing is going to move you. Your money go to complete. If I, your money go to grow. Yeah, yeah, do you see, understand? Bankable. But the thing is, what do you want? What do you want? You look, you look at a Daniel Day-Lewis and you just see how this person is able to change and become this person and become, you're like, wow, right? And some actors might want that for themselves. Some other people might just say John McCook and from when they're small now he's Mr. Forrest and they're like, well, okay, you know, I, I, that's good. Monster, you know, I like to make economic decisions. I don't look at the two of them bank accounts. <laughs> yeah. So that, but that, the and, Lewis, no, uh, but then, so there's this thing that they, that they used to say in Hollywood. Like the challenge sometimes is that it's not necessarily that the actor wants to do it. Mm. It's that the audience doesn't let them do yeah. anything else. So, right. So that the one audience, like, I'm only interested and in And there's someone in Nigeria I know like that. In this mm. role. If there's you step out, I know. We like, names. Really. we like names on this show. <laughs> Behave yourself. Who's I don't you? know anything. Me, I like names now. Nah. I don't know. Yo, does his name start with E? Mm -hmm. No, I'm just asking. <laughs> no, just. Even me, I don't even know who you're talking about. I'm just asking that because you give me examples of but they start with no. L. I mean, and, and I think, and that, and that thing is, so like, I guess with the rise of streaming, alternative platforms, <laughs> TV, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. people can experiment because Absolutely. the cost to, people are more willing to follow you to various things. But I know that, but like for the box, like the audience wants to see But that's you also as, dangerous. Which part? So, because on TV, people fall in love with the character, not with you as an actor. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many people have, you know, broken, you know, gotten a break in their career on TV and people have loved the person. They usually just fall in love with, with the, the character. character. And mm -hmm. so, if they go ahead and see that character in another, you know, series, it's very difficult to just detangle oh, right. what yes. they love. Because that can happen. Because, yeah. Yes. I mean, that's what... That's what so, so it's, it's, I mean, if you, if you let me name names, yeah, Jelly. So, for example, there are characters like, for example, someone like Saka, for example. Mm -hmm. We've used him in TV commercials, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Back in the day when I was working in advertising. And basically, we, we picked his character from the TV shows he was playing. Yeah, and he was playing a particular kind of yeah. TV character. I know that people can relate to that. And if you notice it, so you can imagine if you now take him now and you now try to... Change give, him. Change him into someone like... Maybe like an RMD role, people are going to go, uh, I see. But what... if he kills it, he kills it. Yeah. No, so let Even me... if he does, you. But okay, so there's persona, right? So, yes. and, so yeah, you, people wrong. are expecting to see something else when they come and then you show yes, them something else. They... It might work, it might not work. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, so like, I mean, the funniest one, this is one I read this <clears> recently. So, Pam from The Office yes. was in a sitcom with Joey from Friends. They were married. Yes, yes, she yes. She was yes, in yes. the original pilot. Yes. They dropped her. Do you know why? Why? The audience said Pam would never marry Joey. Joey, yeah. Oh, they are playing they completely still, different characters. Character, they were basically still People in their mind. The she was still the, the character from the office, yeah. and then they were like, "Yeah, she won't end up something like Joe." No, but I also find know. something interesting. What? Who did they drop? Well, they dropped her now. Yes. Oh, not the guy. But Joey right. is a much bigger star. No, mm. now. But no, the office was a was the biggest show. The Friends ended. Wait, hold in on, the... hold on. This is recently. Yes, After yes. This is, oh. yes. So this, this is literally two years ago. Yes, but but but. The office is a much bigger show than Friends. Um, yes, no. but mm. in all it is? the years, all Only the in years. Sorry, no, 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 no. Exactly. Sorry, sorry. Well, and, the, and the US, the office sorry. of the US, <laughs> yes. sorry, and sorry. of the UK. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The US, let's clarify something. There's let's, US and UK. Let's clarify something. No, this is this is Pam okay. in the Pam US, in the US office. office. But let's yes. clarify something. In mm. all the years that Pam was on the office, she never earned a million per episode. Yes, but they got close at the end. But go. Mm. That just shows but that Joey was earning a million per episode, whatever. Don't and if you adjust for inflation, <laughs> it's like five million now. That's true. <laughs> no, of course. No, but still, without, why did they drop going her? Without going into the economics, yeah. I think okay. Friends is I one like of the biggest shows. It's no, it the is. Biggest no, I mean, I, I mean, so I'm based like, but the office is literally as big as Friends. Like the deal, also, the I office don't deal know. is close. No, the office deal was the American office. The streaming deal was a billion dollars. See, it, leave we, this know, we will, deal. We will, know, leave we will know. We will know when whether the office is big enough and when they do the reunion show for the office. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, if we used to be able to do the reunion show for the office. That was mean. No, no, that, that was, was mean. If, that, it's if. It's that, look at friends. Friends, 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 friends is so, so big. I mean, friends is. Like, I'm still between friends. Yeah, I'm still between yeah, friends. All over the world. I'm still between friends because they just basically lift up. You have the four friends in the. And I just made me cut somebody's call. My <laughs> friend's call. Oh. Which one of these friends are we talking about? Uh, <laughs> our our clique. Friends. Yes. They did well, well, friends. Friends. Or money. Do you have money? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uche Jumbo. Money. Oh. Yes. 
Ah. Oh, you're not admitting. Zulu said, oh. Please, my money will find you. Zulu had to pause. <laughs> pause, I said, oh. It is How much sunk. is it like, eh? It just sunk. He said, what is it? Money, 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 money. Is it about money? We no, call no, me. No, we call no, me. No, 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 no. No, because no. I think I, you guys are so beautiful to see, I think, as oh. people. Women. So there's a thing I started. It's called the mm -hmm. I, I Woman in Film. It's um, a community of women in film, basically. And just seeing you guys, like how you you are for each other, I yeah. would say. You know, um, I think it's beautiful because that's what we need. To be honest, mm -hmm. there's that. There is you can't grow without community. To be honest, and then if you have a group of people that you can always mm -hmm. lean on, you know, you like can. Minds. Yeah, I, you I, have I like think, minds. I think, I think basically you just said it. I, I'm one of those people who believe that you cannot grow without community. Not because you know you don't have. The ability to, to go do on the things own. you want to yeah. do on your own, you can, but it's not sweet. It's not sweet. Were I, you as close before Wives Don't Strike? Individually, yes. Together, no. Okay. So, yeah, it's it's awesome. You guys met, well, not met, obviously, but you guys bonded and on, became yes. what you so are. Yeah, exactly, yeah. on when we're filming Wives Don't Strike. Because, you know, individually, I'd known all of these girls, you know, same with Omoni, I'd known them, Choma, you know, it was just individual relationships, but. Mm. We just became closer, you know, <laughs> spending time filming while we were trying the conditions under which each other film. God, I love we the just of had that to, film, we though. just had to bond. <laughs> like when you have ten sometimes we don't want to do makeup. Um, when you say like you know no say be market woman, I will be like come on at the brand. You say which brand? You are a market woman. <laughs> Off your clothes. <laughs> I love it. I I'm love telling it. I wish, you. So, I wish women could do that thing in real life. So, we do too much. I'm too telling much. you. So she would just be like, I'll be like, no, you know how you leave it. God, where the hijab? Let's go. I say, yeah. go. What kind of harassment is this? Mm -hmm. You know, so under all of those things, just you know, finding ourselves changing on the road, mm -hmm. you know, it was we just had to bond. I, I don't think there was anywhere to go from there. And then you guys did the cinema tour. You guys went like to like 10 cinemas across the country. To be honest with you, I like to say. I don't say people won't go beat me plenty, but I like to say that with Wives on Strike, um, the first one, we started the kind of cinema meet and greet that we have today because mm. it was mad. When women start things, when <laughs> we they found blue. it, they blow. They blow. Leave on. They blow. They leave it blueprints was, for it all It was that. so That's huge. We didn't Please believe. don't speak broken again. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Right. That pitching is really good. <laughs> Wow, really that good. Good. <laughs> really good. And, and so thing. after you guys did um, Wives on Strike and then you bonded, then what happened next? Like, so like, I mean, I know you've been now in preparing each other's projects, yes. like on and off since but, then. But um, if you notice, for some time we haven't done that because, okay. you know, in, in the minds of people. So here's another thing. You know, when women keep hammering, I, I don't like that slogan, women supporting women, because I don't hear men saying men supporting men. Mm. So Except I ironically. I, exactly, unless they're trying to diss women. Right? Well, I get that, but I would disagree. But carry on. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't like to say it because I mm -hmm. feel like we put too much emphasis on the negative of women being together mm -hmm. as against the positive. And mm -hmm. so what we're invariably doing is making people focus on seeing a group of friends together and saying, oh my God, this is wonderful. Women don't do this. So we're trying hard to break that, mm -hmm. right? And so we're not... Um, I like that. We're not too much, I mean, a lot of times before now, you know, when we're together, you know, we'll film or something, put it on Instagram and people will be excited. We don't do that anymore because mm -hmm. we feel like we might even be giving the wrong mm -hmm. vibes. Mm -hmm. You know, we want you to, we want you to find, find your compatibility naturally. Mm -hmm. We want you to be able to come and say, you know, you're a guy, I'm a girl. We have this project together and, you know, we can run it. Yeah. It doesn't matter what our gender is. Yes. You're a woman, I'm a woman, and mm -hmm. we can run it together. We want you to find it not because mm -hmm. you're trying to prove a point mm -hmm. that women don't support women. We want you to prove a point because you can do things together. together. Yeah. You, can, you, know, you can achieve more together, mm -hmm. you know. So we're trying to make it a, a normal, natural mm -hmm. thing. Now, of course, there are many things that, you know, we might not be able to escape. We're doing projects and, you know, we're calling on each other because we know that, you know, this person has a strength here mm -hmm. or this person has the connections here and, you know, we can't run away from that. So from time to time, you might see this, you know, overlapping that. But we're trying to we're trying to make it as natural as possible because we realize that we, <clears throat> a lot of people seeing us, we hear that a lot and it, it doesn't always go down the right way. Mm -hmm. It's always people see us and they think of the negative, they think of this like mm -hmm. the, the one positive out of, no, but Is I that know what you of, think? Yes, because I know a lot of women who are friends who are doing good, 
and you know it has nothing to do with trying to prove a point. <laughs> it just so happens. I that don't think people they, think you guys are proving a point. Though. No, we don't think people think we're proving a point, but we think that them always seeing us together in their head is making them think, wow, these women has, have been friends for such a long time when women mm. cannot mm. Mm. and we don't want you mm. thinking that. Mm. But mm. it's like so it's yeah, like why I would disagree. It's like saying it's like saying mm. so I listened to this thing recently where they said, you know, about trying to program your mind to believe something. Mm -hmm. So he said, how do people who ski where you have pines, how do they ski without hitting those trees? Mm -hmm. If you say to yourself, don't hit a tree, don't hit a tree, don't hit a you tree, hit a tree, you will hit a tree. Yeah, because that's right? what you're thinking. But if you're on. saying to yourself, look for the path, look for the path, look for the path, you will find then the path. you will keep dodging those trees and you'll mm -hmm. find the path, mm -hmm. right? So we don't want people to see us. Don't operate from a negative uh, instruction. I, I just thought it was just Juju when they were skiing down wow. the hill. But then the question <laughs> is, but, so but are you allowing people to define your relationship? No, I don't think that that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Let me. I think let me let me say something. So my disagreement is not that I don't agree. <laughs> wow, Zulu. <laughs> so this is what we mean when Zulu loses her English. <laughs> wow. No, but you understand what I mean in a second. Uh -huh. um, I think that that women supporting women um, phrase is something. You know how you meet people where they are to grow. You can't. Mm -hmm. You can't start from the ideal to bring people into the ideal. You have to meet them where they are and then grow into the ideal. Let me explain. Women have always operated from a state of scarcity in the sense that we weren't allowed into this workplace, okay. right? Men were there in abundance. Okay. So they didn't need to support each other in that sense. Okay. Women were, oh, okay, there's this one spot open. The way they are opening one spot for black people in mm -hmm. America now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they open one for women. <laughs> open one for women. All struggle. Yes. When you get there, a lot of women get there and they're like, I need to keep this because of the pressures they are facing. They now know that that's just one spot. If they mess up, another woman will take it. So there's competition. When you're coming from a, a, a mindset of scarcity, you are competing constantly. Okay. It's the construct of men. Zulu, we're saying the exact oh. same thing. Yes, that's what I'm saying. But the, the, the phrase women supporting women came out of that. You guys, you need to support each other. But it's time to leave it behind. That's all. Thank I'm you. That's, so that's why I'm like, we agree. You we're see? saying the same. Do you guys thing. see where we disagree? To, we're we, saying the same thing because I said earlier on that mm -hmm. you are a product of your knowledge and your experiences. Mm -hmm. If this woman has experienced a lot of hardship before she gets up there, she's mm -hmm. not gonna let one little girl just come because you they wear pencil skirts. Do you understand? She will mash your forehead. And we all know. We I believe and that we've guess all what? experienced Zulu, that thing. Zulu, yeah. guess what? Mm -hmm. It's not just because she's a woman. If it was a guy. Mm -hmm. Who spent all of those really? If you have his competition, he will, match, he will grind you finish. Hmm. Which is and that's where I have a problem with us putting a gender to it. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. I don't like you because you're a woman. Mm -hmm. I like you because you're nice, you're kind, you're so irrespective you, of what your you. gender, like irrespective of what your gender is, mm -hmm. I would person. like you regardless. Mm -hmm. That's where I want us to draw the lines. I don't want people coming out to say, oh, this woman is running for president, support her because she's a woman. No. I'm going to ask you, what does she bring to the table? Mm -hmm. Because I would ask the same question if it was a man who was running for president, right? Mm -hmm. I want us to do away with trying to push but the you gender. Can, it's just that we can ask those questions of men now. Before, it was just because they were men, getting those when things. When we talk now, let's mm -hmm. stop using the before to taint what we have going on. Because now, now we're growing right into now, the ideal. Let me give you a very practical example. Look at the film industry. See, mm -hmm. women are so positioned right now. Mm -hmm. I promise you, we are. I, we're not just at the helm of affairs. Now we be the steering. Now we be the gear. Yeah. Thank you. Now we be the key. However, now we be should the, I disagree? There is with something. That? Yes, there's something disagree. about to happen. No, no, Ufo, no man. You don't have to why. decide. I know why. his disagreement. Okay. Mm. Let me tell you what is hap What mm. will happen? Mm. Once the men realize that this is viable enough for them to come in, they will come in here and then they will position themselves better. That they will be the ones called. Now, we women. What? That's why we need our community. Guess what? What? It's not just in a community. Mm -hmm. It's about building ourselves individually, then collectively. Yes, but a lot of people need that orientation. So the of the building. Of people, yes. So, a lot of people. So let me ask you a question. Person. So what? Did they think that they just got to the staring and keep by being a woman? <laughs> no. So it's not even that. So it's more that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm no, confused. No. no, but so this. So, but let me tell you why I decide. So like. I don't, and one of the things that I always say this thing is because... You have to choose those words carefully. No, let me tell you, no, I'm, no, no, no it's very, no, it's, it's this. So, like, I, like, for guys, right, mm -hmm. the, the way you engage in these things, like, you, I, you, it's better to take a helicopter view. And a helicopter view, you lay it out and look at the data. Mm -hmm. 
uh, irrespective. Privilege, you can enter helicopter. <laughs> yes, uh, exactly. No, that's the whole point, and you're right. It is that I can enter the helicopter because mm -hmm. I am interested but not invested mm -hmm. in the sense that I, because I am not a woman, right? I mm -hmm. do not suffer from the constraints that we are discussing. Mm -hmm. I don't, mm -hmm. right? That's, that is a given, obviously, in my bald head. <laughs> we can put a wig on you. <laughs> so, like, literally, when you look at the data, right, you, and you look at the concentrations, mm -hmm. right, and you look at the trends, they tell you something very, very, very clear. Okay. What I call the meninization of Nollywood is happening. It is actively happening yep. because Nollywood is increasingly becoming viable. And this happens, it's like there's this joke that all the most women... Most cook. of the women are cook, most of the men are chefs, or whatever that, whatever. In terms of like the economic value yes. of cooking all the are men. close to the men. And they are white men. <laughs> that, those are the names that come to you. When you think so, chef, it's white man, white man, white so man. The, so all the thing is that like when you look at houses. the data and you look at the overarching <laughs> numbers of anything, any position that is um, like so directly is a perfect example. So when you look at the tier one directors in Nollywood, mostly Men, men, with the exception of Kemi and probably Jade, whatever, drop down, mostly men, mm -hmm. maybe one woman, two women, or many, et cetera, mm -hmm. drop down, maybe, because as it's widening, mm -hmm. the, not, yeah. the ratio of men to women is growing, growing, yes. growing. Mm -hmm. So as you are moving up, what does that mean? That in five years... There are more men. There are more, so because the, the, like, the industry tends that way. So here, it's not just the industry. Okay. Just See, we life. feel, to, it's not just life. They're conscious decisions that you make as a person. When MM was hustling Nollywood the way Nollywood was, mm -hmm. it wasn't it wasn't the it wasn't the girliest thing to do. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the coolest thing to do. It wasn't the easiest thing to do. Mm -hmm. But she did it because she just decided, I am tired. Mm -hmm. of being in one corner mm -hmm. and producing films for other people. I'll I build want my to do it for, for myself. myself. It yeah. is a conscious, deliberate, intentional decision. Mm -hmm. So if a man decides to go up and take an area view, look at the data and say, this is where I am, or these are the chances of this person coming here and I want to go here, he's going to work. It's not going to happen overnight. Mm -hmm. He's going to take intentional decisions to get him from here to there. But he's going to do it confidently. Myself, a lot of women don't have that confidence. You're a strong woman. There's nothing like a strong woman. It doesn't okay, exist. Okay, you're a confident woman. Maybe, let me put it that way. It doesn't exist. Of course it does. It doesn't. Of course it does. They're only confident people. There's, they are a confident woman, and he's a confident man. He's a confident man, now and a confident woman. Now, you see where the problem is. Mm -hmm. Is that adjective we're using to separate the confidence? No. Well, it's... I My point that. is this. Let me tell I, you. I, Let I, me I agree. I agree. I agree, I agree with her. I agree with her. I don't this. Know if you guys no, understand no. what I'm saying. No, no, no. I, I understand. I what agree you're with saying, her. But, but I, I disagree so, with so it. So, the, so the, my, the way that I would argue that slightly differently is that. There is you, generally a penalty for confidence in women that doesn't exist for confidence in men. Fantastic. But are they confident? Confident people and people who are not confident. No, then you have to differentiate. No. So look at it this way, right? So like, so, so. Zulu. Is you personally deciding? <clears throat> Imagine, please, let's go back. MM struggled in an industry when marketers were at it. Not be now when they are speaking English. Yes, sir. Mm. Mm. With a code or got chama, ah, chama alpha. You need, I, I said that so that you could paint a picture in your mind. Mm -hmm. It wasn't cool. Mm -hmm. There was nothing cool about it. Mm -hmm. MM is not the most confident person if you know her one on one. I would. Disagree. MM is totally extremely shy. No, no, that, it's, if not you leave MM. That. it's not about that. That's why I said strength at first, but you said strong woman, and I hate the word strong woman too. Strength is a different thing. So, so even if you're shy, you can be strong. So, mm -hmm. in, in having that kind of picture, mm -hmm. and someone like MM decides, I want to be in charge, mm -hmm. try to imagine what would have gone through her head. Try to imagine, I don't want to bring other people's voices. Try mm -hmm. to imagine the the dilemma of her own voices in her head, the mm -hmm. conflict I, I, I don't really voices need to imagine. in her own head. <laughs> it just takes her to confidently say, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So can I ask you a question? I'm simply saying, as against, sorry, as, I'm, I'm simply saying, as against putting out the word where women continue to believe that, oh, you know, there's the penalty of a woman being strong, let's tell them that in those consequences, you will still have to make that choice to be strong because this is the finisher. This is the result that you are looking for anyway. I don't want us to 
focus on the negative because there's some minds who don't know how to filter it. Some minds don't understand why you're mentioning the negative at all. They don't know the reason why you're saying don't hit a tree is because if you hit a tree, you'll just hit your head, you'll fall, die. <laughs> right? So don't mention the tree. You Tell them that, about the you path. You know that there are some people that don't know that they have a negative. If, if it's not affecting them, why do you want to tell them that they have now? So because that, it's affecting them. But I just said if it's not affecting them. No, but it's because it's affecting them that we need to let them know. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. So okay. I'm coming from a so path So those are of... the people. Those are mm -hmm. the people who cannot decipher that the reason you're mentioning the tree is because if I concentrate on the tree, it will hit me, right? But there's some people who don't even know there's a tree there because all you said to them is follow, follow the path, path. just follow. be fast, make sure mm -hmm. you go on the path. If it's a sloppy path, so, do your this like this. If it's a <clears> high path, do okay, your, so, so they're not seeing the trees. So, mm -hmm. I, so trees this are is there. what I was going to ask, right? So this is the risk. Okay, so the, so I guess with these things work on two levels. Mm -hmm. okay. So there's level of the individual, mm -hmm. which is as an individual, you go through your life assuming those obstacles are not there. Yes. Follow the path, follow the path, follow the path. Mm -hmm. But as an institution, your responsibility is to remove the tree. That's the way I think about it. The cocoa? Not yes. Yes. Necessarily. Yes. Because, yes. yes. Because, not, okay. yes. So you're, yes. yes. So there are separate layers, right? <clears throat> so every individual can succeeds. You, so can you, you, yes. you can cut them down. You, you, can, can, cut you can cut but, half of it. But then. what you can do is you can train people to. So what she's talking about is this. In a case where you cannot remove some things, you teach people to navigate around it no, but or to overcome it. That's yes. what I'm saying. So as an, okay, as so an institution. Are, no, yes. no, as an institution. So let's look at it this way, right? So it's like you can't get rid of You can't get rid of sin, but you do. No, let, me give you an, let me give you an because example. Because at some no, they point, you realize there are no trees. Yeah, so good. that's yeah. not... Uh, that is, so let me look at this way. So like, I'm a, like, okay, so I am a company, right? Mm -hmm. yes. So the trees are... Let us continue this metaphor that we have stuck with. <laughs> the trees are the discrimination um, mm -hmm. um, that exist. blockers that exist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have men mm -hmm. where there are two trees. Mm -hmm. Women where there are ten trees. I am the company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am hiring people at the starting line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a decision. I can... Train, which is what a lot of people used to do. I can train the women to avoid the trees. But you have to work harder. Yes, but no, but no, no, but the yes, but they're, they're ten for you and they're two. No, but just must have trained you to avoid the trees. Mm -hmm. And the best of you, because I did whatever, I've opened it up to men and women. I've given all of you the training that you need. Mm -hmm. Or I can say, you know what? It is my responsibility to go from ten trees to two trees for both of you in my company. Mm -hmm. I may not be able to control mm -hmm. what happens everywhere else, mm -hmm. but here we are two trees for everybody. Right. You see again, that mm -hmm. is the choice. Because there's this thing that um, mm -hmm. um, that somebody said, that one of the things that people do not understand is that, and it was using it in the context of programmers. So remember, imagine you start off at a big tech firm, mm -hmm. and you are a white guy, mm -hmm. and you walk into that room. Mm -hmm. There are eight other white guys just like you. That, well, not, but they look like yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. You are not alone. Oh, no, people it, look it, alike. No, no, no. <laughs> That's don't say no, that. No, he said it he said on purpose. I mean, but then imagine if you are a black woman mm -hmm. and walk into that same room, mm -hmm. you are the only person yep. that is you. Yep. So even everything else, that sense of aloneness is a thing. So a lot of people choose to pretend that, that, those, two people, exist. Yeah, that those two people are the same, that the experience mm -hmm. that they face. Mm -hmm. I mean, this was the funniest thing. Like there was this famous thing in Uber about this woman was on the programming team. She was, I think she was even relatively senior. Mm. The, her boss ordered jackets for everybody in the team but her. Do you know why? Mm. Female jackets are more expensive. I'm, I'm sorry. Yes. True it was a famous story, literally. No one said it's true now. Because like, literally, oh. they didn't, because when they're ordering 10 jackets for the men, bulk discount, the budget, yeah. Yeah. but to go and do a special Today, order for the one, one woman. woman. Yes, yes expensive. So, what if I beat you? <laughs> or the second, or the other one, or the more common one is that at the office, someone's birthday, then they automatically hand the cake and the knife over to the lady. Woman to go and, to go and, go and cut. And I'm like, <laughs> excuse me. I've always wondered about that. <laughs> excuse me. We all know how to use knife. Exactly. <laughs> so, so that is what I mean about everybody. Should, like, mm. see, and this is, the thing I, this is the thing that everybody agrees with. Making it in any profession, man or woman or non-binary, is effing hard. Mm -hmm. You are going to work yourself to the bone. That is a given. You cannot make the top of any profession and you, well, unless you're, so as I said, the, the, the easiest way to, to start, end up with a hundred million dollars, start with a billion. So unless you are literally <laughs> failing downward, right? Nice. So, so basically, nice. but, but, the, but the point is like, so like literally everybody works their asses off. Everybody's pushing, everybody. Yeah, generally. everybody's working their but, asses off. But the opportunity set is slightly different. So my it's view. It's not slightly, it's massively well, different. It, no, so like many things intersect. So like, so like there's gender, there's privilege, there's wealth, there's opportunity, there's love. So like, if, we stay, if we stay with gender, there's a lot. There's a lot of yeah. difference. Mm -hmm. There's there's a lot of difference, and we know that you know women are somewhere down there. 
However, I just don't, you know, want us to um, continue. I, you know, I, I wouldn't like my daughter to grow up to believe certain things just because she's heard them over and over again. I mm. agree. Because, you know, her mind will work in a way where she's not trying to debunk it mm -hmm. or trying to prove that she can change it, when she can just live a normal life and this woman is doing good work. Yeah, teaching her that abundance. Do you understand? Yeah. Which is what everyone has. Absolutely. So what you, what, the thing you're saying is that whole, um, you only see the obstacles when you take your eyes off the goal. Yeah. That's exactly where you're at. the growth at. mindset. Exactly. Yes. True. yes, but you know, there's the, it's privileged to think like that. It's mm. privileged to have that To idea, have the opportunity to, opportunity to, to create that world. On goal. So it, it is now. Do you understand? And, what? and it's great. I hear you. See, now that mm. you say it, I hear mm -hmm. you. I mm -hmm. hear you. It's. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't even. Yeah. So let me it. give you an example. Like, so I'm the only. My like my parents have four kids, right? I'm the only son. My dad is evil. My mom is Yoruba. It's a whole thing. But <laughs> when I was a young brat, I think I said something. I think I mean I was like eight or nine. I said something stupid, like you know, like, and I'm because I know I'm the first son. I hope your sister did. No, no. Do you know what my mother told me? Do you know? Do you know what my mother told me? <laughs> Do you know what my mother told me? Yeah, you know, you know me, I always only, only, only wanted girls. Though. So this one that I did, yes, yeah, so because yes, because in her mind she's like, this is the first and the last time you that say you that say nonsense. something that stupid mm. that you think that being a boy privileges you in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And that stuff you picked up from outside because yes. obviously <laughs> your mother did not. Obviously, that not yeah. Yeah. But, I, but I, that's I just, what I'm saying yeah. about. That's what I'm saying mm. about. You know, all those many voices. Even though we know that what mm. they're trying to say is the positive, mm -hmm. I promise you that there's a slight undertone of negative message that is being served. Mm -hmm. I promise you. Mm -hmm. so I understand. I, I can do an experiment now if my friends will permit me. If I post a picture now, go to the comment section and see what people will say. Hmm. Wait, what what do you mean? First of all? No, like, no, like a picture squad. of myself and my friends. Oh. Right? If you go to the comment section, you'll be like, are you serious now? Now, what do you think? Right. Now, there you see. Right. Do you understand? Yeah. Nobody's going to say, ah, nice, I like the shoes. Oh my, no. You say, One ah, of people will be telling you, no, I, need, I have mine. a kidney transplant. That's how Please send 100k. <laughs> That one said day. <laughs> that one said day. I need help to buy Mama, credit. don't give away little <laughs> thing. <laughs> give away his life, man. Bringing it back to this thing that we are saying. Mm -hmm. There's this idea of this is what women want to succeed, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. And this is why, like, I focus more on the institutional part. You give them what they need. So people think what they want is oh, guidance to go I'm through passing. the path, mm. right? What they need, they need is the path. Is the, is remove yeah, the fucking it. trees. Yeah. yeah, give us okay. the path. Okay, Hire that is, them. That, that's, that's a very sweet analogy. But when we come back to reality, we know that those trees exist. Hire them. We, but, but let the trees so, not be gender Essentially, what Naz is trying to let say is Let the trees not be gender If you where, are looking at an industry mm. where there is certain issues of sexism and all of those kind of things because it is male-dominated, if you put in more women into that space, right, the people that are now in the majority may now be moved into the minority. So that level, that culture of sexism, that macho culture now gets diluted because there are now a lot more women around, okay. right? And then now there's the possibility that a woman is your boss, a woman is working under you, a woman is working alongside what, what you. What do we want to so do? That, wait, I'm like, what, what exactly is the goal? Do we want to just switch sexism from the males being the dominant Hell ones no. to women? Hell being no. Just the quality. No, it's just the quality. Fantastic. Hell no. Because the truth is, if we begin to enforce, mm. and I hope you guys understand that Kenya is already beginning to ex experience a situation where women are at the top mm. and the men are saying, you know, we want our voices. I hope you guys understand no, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. But it's only 30 percent. So men are very badly behaved. Okay. So when it goes to 70, 30 women, men are like, "Oh, there are too many women. Please." They are, ah, that 30 percent. Oh my god. And yeah, and that same thing about it's only one space yes. for a woman. Yes. It's that same thing. They, they are okay. A whole so one like, so space. Like, there's actually a, there's, this one is out. You know, there's actually a study mm -hmm. that if you show a if you show people, at least actually men and women, and that's the tragedy, a crowd that is 30 percent women. They always think there are more women than men. I mean, it's, that's how life is now. We're only looking at. I mean, who's no, looking life at is actually you? more women. There are more women in life than men. No, but actually, 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 it's 50 50. Almost, yes, it's 50 50. It's 50 50. It's 50 50 now. 49 in general. That's so, yeah, yeah, that's because, what we said. Yeah, because, almost 50. Because, so, and what's 51 49? I know, but because men it's die younger now, that's actually. Because you people are giving us headache. Because people are giving us headache. The point is just that they are sharp more. Okay, if it's 50 50, let the 50 50 reflect in everything. Yeah, that's what I'm Like, I mean, there's this phrase, I love this phrase. I don't need a mentor, I need a job. Like, because literally, people are so looking to mentor women. Here's a course, here's a this. I think you just said. Just give them one. I think you just said it. Guys, remember, 
when the first world war broke out be, before they remember before <laughs> how old are we i mean damola no, 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 remember look i don't remember i don't know i don't know she doesn't have hair but please <laughs> it's still not it is not that, that old <laughs> remember from history oh when the first world war broke before the first world war Women were generally considered that much per sex. Right? Mm -hmm. When the World War broke out, the men went to war and the women, women were moved to the factories. factories. Yeah, then what happened when the men came back? They took it over. Uh, they moved women out. So mm -hmm. here's yeah, yeah, forgotten that part. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is why it's about not just ability. It's about mm -hmm. a conscious decision to keep moving up. You know, if you did one place now. Whether you are male or female, no, yes, but it's about man. that need to But want use to that win. example. Let's say you are that factory foreman, you're that woman, right? And now the GI has come back from overseas. Mm -hmm. No matter how good you are, you are living, they are sending you home. to give birth. Okay. No, not <laughs> Maybe a, boomer, boomer generation not, started after not that. Not a problem. The truth is, let's be stupid <clears throat> and say at that time there was no other work for the man to work. <laughs> He had to come back to factory, factory right? Yeah, yeah. Because at the time, his wife would still meet him and ask for money, Abby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's move the times forward. Let's use the same analogy, but let's just assume that right now, besides the factory, there's Uber, mm -hmm. there's farm mm -hmm. <laughs> that he can go to. Mm -hmm. There are other things that he can do. If the woman was already, she was not just doing the factory work of maybe pack water, mm -hmm. silly, this, this, this. she had trained herself to do something else, you know, higher than mm -hmm. when he left, and he came back and he saw what it is that she was doing. Be honest with yourself. Would he ask her to leave yes. and go back oh, to yes. just but, tying the water? Oh, but that's but that what was now. happening. Oh, but that is, let, me give, let me give an example. So okay. there's this thing in mm. academia called the two-body problem. Okay. It's a very fancy way of saying that when the wife gets a job, job in another school, if the husband doesn't get given a job, job she doesn't take it. Because she men, cannot be more, um, men do successful. not sacrifice. No, 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 you can be more successful though. Men no, generally that, do not that, sacrifice their make career the sacrifice for, for the women. Mm -hmm. So you can be successful. So if we're in the same place together mm -hmm. and same. you are successful I believe there, it because we had this discussion like, just before the <laughs> lockdown. The last year we had this, like myself and Chema, you know, we went for an event. Has any and we didn't believe, there was this guy that was insisting, you know. So the example, sorry to cut you, mm -hmm. the example was, okay, you guys are living on the mainland and, you know, your wife gets some money and she says, move to the island. He said, for what? For And we didn't believe it. You this is just that was not even two, but that's two body problem in this the same 2020 yeah. here. In, in fact, uh, from and one local government to another. Like, he, he said no, if that much, she should go to her father's house. We're like, wow, wow, wow. wow. <laughs> so you let yourself and the kids live where you shouldn't live because if she respect me, she we say it's okay, no wow, Let's go home. No more. Let's right. go home, no more. But that's, Let's a plot, go home. that's a nice plot leave, for a movie, shall Leave it. <laughs> I'm serious. The man just he just, he was like he was so we didn't believe it. We're looking at him. But like, you see, let me like you. Play. Everything, see, eh? this thing is like, like so it's mm. like it's easy to say. It's easy to say. It's really easy to say. I mean, so like so like but I've had sort of that conversation basically. Mm. I mean, because my wife is in your no, if you read the word, is a CEO yeah. of a global tech yeah. startup. Please, yes. yeah, for all women. Please, please, please. <laughs> so only because I like only because I like Uche, not because of her. <laughs> literally. So it's a thing for us. Think about it, right? There's no version of the world that says she has to live in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. She can be in America, she can be in Kenya, she can be in London, she can be in anywhere. Mm -hmm. And so she asked me, would you mind? And I was like, of course I do. <laughs> I had to think about it because, see, because my skills oh my on God. both sides of my hands mm -hmm. are a very, very, I've over-specialized, mm -hmm. right? Production and finance in a specific geographical area. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, Africa. If I will just be carrying box. I will literally, if I'm in America, I'll be like, oh, so, the, so I'll be driving Uber, like you said. <laughs> like, because or working at Ikea or yeah. Amazon. Remember, so, marriage really test. <laughs> or going to farm. <laughs> So for Whoa. me, they don't, have, they don't have farm abroad. They but you see, like but that. then I thought, and then I, you know, I said yes because if the roles were reversed, yeah, she would, it, it she would, would have to do the same. Like a, a, nobody would, nobody will ask her. Oh, what so, she but, thinks? Yeah, she get up and because go. her mm -hmm. skills are the same. She was an investment banker, a mm. venture capitalist, also in this Africa. Yes. Yes. Because even if it wasn't the same, yeah. the, everybody would tell her you get another job, yes. she has another career. Yes, yes. that's yes. so. And so you, and so until even me, feminist, was stammering until. You create a world where nobody stammers. That's when you know that That's this when thing has... Yeah, is because... Level no, it's not level. Look at that Let's thing. Not like Look at ourselves. that thing. You know, if you go out with your husband, does anybody ask your husband why your daughter's hair is not made? <laughs> funny enough, no. It's not funny. <laughs> no, I'm saying it now It would because never happen. I'm so saying it's not, it now it's because, because last night I had Uh-uh. Yes. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. 
Yes. Oh my so god. So we booked this. So like this is this is actually really really random. So I sent Ufoma a message about today, yesterday mm -hmm. at, at like okay, middle of night. no 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 yeah. at yeah. like I called her like maybe like twelve noon mm -hmm. or one o'clock something like that. Mm -hmm. And then so I was in a meeting. She was in a meeting. So as she got off the call, she's like I don't know why she's calling me. Um, so she sent me a message. I said, I don't know if you are up, Sha, and it's 12.30. Mm -hmm. I know that thing where you make a message. So I slept at 10 o'clock, and then I woke up at 11.30. Mm -hmm. And I didn't go the until o'clock. So I was actually up. I was, you know, I was on apps that are not Twitter, you know, Instagram, TikTok, you know, new generation, Gen Z, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. I thought about practicing a dance, you know. Oh, you know. Wow. The alt text version. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, yes. And so, she, and so, we were and so I said, well, I wanted to ask you, like, I was going to be very badly behaved and asked you to be on my podcast with, a, with um, what's it called? With one day's notice. Mm -hmm. Now, I can't even she open was. my mouth to say, I'm up at mm -hmm. five hours uh, notice. notice. <laughs> and so she was on the touch, but her kids were up. And I was like, I'm sorry, it is 12.30. It's holiday. 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 It's up at 12. It's holidays. Biko, 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 Biko. It's holidays. Strict mm -hmm. bedtime. Please. Because the thing is, I was working. And you know, but I, I, he heard me saying to them, I said, better go to bed because your daddy will now come and start looking at me. Now the truth is, I was working, I was on a Zoom call till late. Mm. My nanny has gone to bed. My husband has gone to bed. Why did they not think that it was okay to put the kid to sleep? Why mm. did they have to wait for me to put the kids to in, bed? In, mm. in my house, I am the official sleep giver, breeder, That's it. sleep putter That's how in my house. Be. It's me. Why is everybody stressing? In fact, my wife calls me. And says, I, hope, I hope you are coming home soon. Yeah, yeah. Because... I had dinner at his house, um, or watching the Champions League final, mm. and um, he, was, he went out to get something. And mm. his wife called me and said, have you seen him? Is he here downstairs? The boy is up, he needs to go back to bed. Yes, yeah, so. and literally, they That's went. So she didn't even move. Like, let me go and check on him. She's literally just chilling that, don't worry, I'm going to come and put him back the to one bed. I don't move for a school, I don't do school runs. Mm -hmm. In fact, you can't even wake me in the morning. Is it no, but we're getting we're getting to that idea. Yes, things yes. are really getting uh, like this conversation. Oh, yes. Which man in 15, exactly. 15 20 Put, years ago? Well, would you say it's oh, then this Nazi zone, Nazi's, the Nazi's example that he gave earlier on, it's the same thing with me, oh, because she too similar scenario. So I'm like, uh, excuse me, I'm, I'm an architect in Africa. I can't practice architecture, marketing and advertising. Ha. Huh. You have to understand people's culture. Mm. I've lived in Africa all this oh, while. Man. I cannot do it abroad. Just, mm. just leave it. So basically, <laughs> uh, so, you've, I, you've swept it under the bed. I would just wear. I would just wear. I would just wear apron. <laughs> I would not be there in the morning. But I, but I and I think that those are the conversations that I mean. It's so funny, right? I mean, Coco made a movie about this in Nigeria ten, I, I, not ten years ago. The one with Kenneth and Belinda about the husband staying at home. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. In, yeah. In, the, in America, it was number that same movie was called Mr. Mom, like a version yeah, of yeah. in America in the eighties. Yeah. In Nigeria, she made her own. Um, I don't know, maybe five, four, five years ago. Yeah. It's, and that's mm. twenty years. I'm sure that if you make it five years from now, it will still be it's relevant in our culture yeah. because, because we need to, to. But having said that, we're having so much fun. They have, they have, they, they have been warning us. They oh up. This you is know? a, this is a forty-five minute podcast. We can stay here for another hour. <laughs> uh, but and we barely discuss film. Oh, for my husband, come back. That's the funny thing. We barely discuss film. Please, because actually do the actual interview. We actually try. You even ask a question, and she actually tried. I look at you. Oh. Question is, <laughs> yeah. we have refused to discuss film oh very gosh. little in terms of film, but oh hmm. my goodness, yes. Or do we just cut out some part? No, don't. No, Never thank mind. You very Never much. mind. <laughs> for oh, this was so much fun. Meet and greet where we sometimes where we forget. show you other parts of your <laughs> oh, favorite stars, of guys. Of your favorite yes. stars, yes. And, and, and I mean, and for what it's worth, I will allow the ink blot or I woman in film to have the last word and send us out, giving the thrust of this episode. Fire, 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 fire. <laughs> and so, ladies and gentlemen, we hope that as we grow towards this ideal, you will continue to watch the Inglot Meet and Greet podcast on all podcast platforms near you. And YouTube. And YouTube. Comment below <laughs> Comment about below all that we've discussed About today. all that we've discussed. <laughs> and a round of applause for our delectable guests. <laughs> <laughs>